Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. And today is my March 2023 hits and misses video. So as usual, I have lots of Pandora that I wanna share with you. So let's get started and open up this pink jewelry box. And inside here, I have some new bracelet designs that I wanna show you. So first we're gonna take a look at a double wrap bracelet. Now the double wrap, I do have two of them. One is a larger size, one is a little bit smaller. And I really enjoy the double wrap bracelet. Um, I do think it is gonna be retired by Pandora. So if you are interested, make sure you pick that up. Maybe it will be 50% off in the summer sale. So basically with the double wrap bracelet, it divides it into five sections. And I've learned how I like to style them. So the two end sections, like between the, I don't know what to call that part, and the clasp and the clip station, I don't put any charms in that section. But the next two sections on either side, that's where I put the majority of my charms. So I've got a few right here, and then a few in that section, and then the middle longer one, I just usually like to have one charm. So I have done a celestial theme design. And a lot of these charms I recently purchased in that strange restock that Pandora did in their last chance section. And this charm here is a duplicate for me. I absolutely love this charm. It's one of my favorite celestial charms that Pandora has ever done. I just find it so unique. Um, even that little sparkle for the stars and I don't know, I just absolutely love this button charm right here and even that raised detail of the ring around the planet and then i've got a little star dangle and this is my thankful with stars and blessed on the other side and then in the middle of this bracelet i just have a plain little blue cz um, this here is the asymmetrical star and then this gorgeous one do you see that moon and the star inside there? It just glows, especially when you're out in daylight. And then you've got the side detail. It's raised up. It's not like a standard button charm. It's a little bit taller, a little bit more rounded. And then of course, nothing on this side. So let me quickly try this bracelet on for you so you can see how it looks on. And as you can see, it's nicely spaces the charm. So I've got like the two at the bottom here and then my top charms with a little bit of a dangle. Maybe I should move my dangle to the lower part. And then in the back of your wrist, um, this is where I just have that beautiful clasp. And then this little guy just kind of freely moves around. The next bracelet design I want to share, I'll just go over it even more quickly with you because it also is on the double wrap. So I won't explain again how I do the design. Although this one here, I did put some charms on the end. So I've got some Pandora Rose in the blue. So with this double wrap, I wanted to do more of a nautical theme, but with Pandora Rose and using these beautiful charms that I recently purchased that I'm just noticing is upside down. Look at that poor fish. He is upside down. That doesn't bode well for him. But um, anyway, so I've got this gorgeous enamel with Pandora Rose. You can see the little waves there. And then I have this little dangle right here with that matching blue CZ. I think that the blue and Pandora Rose looks so unique together. And then this charm here, I can't remember if this one is retired now or if it's still current, but it has these really large CZs and that nice watery color. And I tried not to over polish those little C stars because I wanted them to really stand out on the charm. And then in the middle here, I've got a matching little CZ charm. And then on this side here is my other one. So these two are not a perfect match. And I was initially really disappointed when I received one in the mail. And this is the one that I picked out in store. And as you can see, there's a little bit of a difference, but once I'm wearing it on my wrist, I don't notice it so much. And this charm here is a long retired, it's the old fish charm that Pandora originally had. And I don't think it goes well on this bracelet. I'm thinking of replacing it. And let me show you the charms that I was thinking of putting in its place. 
So a few options for me is I could put this Murano right here because I think the orange and this teal would look really nice together. Or I have this other Murano if I want to do something multicolored. And then I even have this little Lucky Carp right there. But I'm not sure if the red goes with the, I don't know, to me the color tones don't quite match. So I was thinking of doing a Murano, but what I would really like to put in its place is a charm that I have on this summer bracelet design here. I absolutely love this bracelet design. So I think this little fish here, and I have such a hard time saying the name, Splish Splash Fish. I just cannot say that. Anyway, the Splish Splash Fish, <laughs> you can all laugh at me now. I was thinking that he would look really good over here because he just kind of ties in the other charms on this double wrap bracelet. So yeah, he would look really nice there, but then I don't know what to put in his place. So that's the debate that I have right now is whether or not I'm gonna swap around charms. I have to find something I like equally as much on this bracelet design in order to pull them off. So this double wrap is a little bit looser of a size compared to the other one. So you can see how it drapes a little bit further down my wrist. And I don't have a preference between one size or the other. I think I'm happy with either one but I do think I need to replace that fish. It just doesn't quite go. In March, I was very fortunate that my husband and I were away for a few weeks on a vacation. And I did take some Pandora with me, but I'm a little bit funny when I go on vacation and what I pack for my jewelry. I never pack items that have been retired or items that I super care about because I always think I wanna be able to replace it if something goes wrong. So I thought I would quickly show you what I packed. So I packed a plain bangle, nothing special about this clasp and this little pink heart charm I just had on. And let me tell you, I wore this bangle in the swimming pool every day. I went in the ocean every day. I sweated in this bangle and I never took it off. So I think it actually wore fantastic. I was a little bit curious how tarnished it would be with the chlorine in the pool and the salt water. But let me show you and compare it to like a brand new bangle. So this is like the brand new one that was just released last winter. And as you can see, there is not a huge difference between the two. Like it's definitely not as bright, but I think it's going to polish up quite well. I never cleaned it when I got home. And then the other designs that I took with me is, um, I oh, actually this one here. So this is my only X jewelry that I own. I don't think I'll be adding to it because I'm really happy with just having these rainbow colors. And I really like the look of these two stacked together. I also packed with me this little Pandora Me bracelet. This one I did not wear in the swimming pool or in the ocean. And these are the little dangles that I'm currently having. So this one here is a gift from Riri Baby. And it's a little sister friend charm there. And then I also have my little feather pendant. And then this is the paper clip. So this I brought with me. And then the other item I brought with me is a leather bracelet. And I did take off these charms on occasion and put them on the bangle, but I had to represent my little love of pandas. So these are the original pandas. And uh, then I've got some spacers and a fuchsia heart in the center. And this leather is like a really deep purple. And I wasn't too careful with this leather either. So looking at this design again, in the center is my little fuchsia heart. And I have a hard time designing with this color. I find fuchsia really challenging for me to design with. And so I was looking at this when I got home and realized that I have other fuchsia charms in my Pandora collection. Let me just show a few of them here. So again, these are all like really tricky colors for me to design with. And I do put them on designs, but sooner or later I end up pulling them off and they sit back in my Pandora jewelry box, just kind of being loose. So I've got the little fuchsia butterflies and cute little Susie Mouse. I actually just recently pulled her off of a Disney bracelet design. So she hasn't been loose in my jewelry box for that long. And then this little Mickey here with this little fuchsia heart and the way he's kind of grabbing on like that. He is so cute. 
but I have a really hard time styling him. And then I've got another one of the fuchsia butterflies. So I was thinking maybe I should try again and make a design. I also have the fuchsia Muranos um, in my collection. But... So please leave me a comment below. Let me know your tips on how you style this color. Like do you style it with light pink or white or black? Um, please leave me a comment below. Let me know how you style this color because I would love to create a design that works. These are some of the rings that I took on vacation with me. So I've got some Pandora Rose right here. And the reason why I brought these with me is because honestly, they turned my finger a little bit gray. I didn't mind wearing them in the pool. Um, some of the stones have already turned a little bit of a bluish color, the CZs. So I wasn't too concerned about these. This one here just really sparkles really pretty in the sunlight. This one is still available with Pandora. Um, I've got duplicates of this ring at the bottom. And this ring here, so funny. So this ring I've had in my collection for quite a while. And that center stone, which I believe is a topaz, um, it just, it was really dull looking and I almost kind of gave up this ring a few times and just kind of, I don't know what I was going to do with it, but I wasn't going to keep it in my jewelry box, but I decided to take it with me on vacation. Like it's a thick Pandora ring. It's very vintage and it does fit multiple fingers. And I wore it in the swimming pool quite a bit. And I swear that this little topaz came back to life. Like it started getting brighter. Maybe it was just absolutely filthy, but I did buy this one pre-loved, I think locally, and I tried cleaning it. Like I actually put it in some soapy Dawn dishwater. I tried rubbing it with a cloth, but maybe it was the chlorine. I don't know, but it just seemed to come back to life a little bit and it's got some sparkle again. So super happy about that. And I wore this ring quite a bit, actually. I really like um, the size and that little center earthy stone. So I did discover another miss in my Pandora collection this last month. And do you see the Murano on the left and the one on the right? One is a fake and one is genuine. So I did discover that I had a fake Murano in my collection and it was only when I was trying to design a bracelet with these colors. And when I took a closer look at these Muranos, I was like, oh, something doesn't look quite right about this one on the left and it is a fake Murano. So they did do a fairly decent job kind of replicating Pandora, but you can totally see the difference in the quality between the two of them. Just how that color is wrapped around the core, I think it's really obvious now that I look at it closer up, which one is real and which one is fake. And I'm not surprised that they tried to duplicate this one because it was a pricey Murano when it was first released. So in my Valentine's 2014 collection book, can you believe they did a whole catalog for Valentine's? But I thought I would show you these Muranos. So right at the bottom here, they were called the Clear Effervescence and the Blue Effervescence. That's quite the name. So they were recently released for $50. Like that's pricey for a 2014. That's a really pricey Murano. Mind you, most of their Muranos were pricey. If you ignore the circles because you know, I didn't know better back then. <laughs> the Tropical Sea Glass was 50, Folklore was 40. So Muranos were a little bit more expensive compared to Silver Charms back then. And it's almost like nowadays it's gone the reverse. Like I find the Muranos are still in the 50s, whereas some of the Silver Charms are pushing up into the, you know, the 60, 70, $80 price range. And then to show you the next page of the wooden charms, you can see all the different kinds of wooden charms that they had. I'm not even going to try to pronounce those names, but they were $40 back when they were first released. And now they sell pre-loved for that price or even higher. And the last thing I want to share with you for my March Hits and Misses video is I got a pre-loved bracelet from my local Value Village. And I was making a donation and I decided to spin around inside and see what they had in the jewelry case. And this is what I found. And it's not too often that I come across a bracelet with charms that I don't have 
any of these charms in my collection. And including this bracelet clasp, this is just kind of that CZ barrel clear clasp, and I don't own that one in my collection. It's my preferred size, um, 7.5 or 19 centimeter. And then the charms that were included on here. So this one is called Love All Around, and it's got the clear CZ in the center. And I do have this charm with the pink CZ, and I managed to compare, and the hallmarks are identical, so that's good. And then this is the white looking glass, and I do have the looking glass in blue and pink, but I don't have a white one. And these were like, I don't know, I think a lot of Pandora collectors purchased the Looking Glass Muranos. They were just so pretty with the little triangular shape with the little bubble inside. And it's in decent condition, like it's not super scratched up, but it's not, you know, super bright. But I think this Murano's in decent shape. And then this one here is the St. Bernard. And do you see that little keg around his neck with the little medicine symbol? I remember this charm. And uh, yeah, so this is the St. Bernard. It's in good shape as well. Look at the little paws. And there is the hallmark right there. And uh, yeah, actually it was funny because when I first received this, I did a little bit of research about the St. Bernard dogs and how they came about. And it was really interesting because I always knew about the little keg and how they used to try to rescue people. And it was, I don't know, it was really interesting. I enjoyed that. Um, this charm here is the Mystic Flower. And you've got the white enamel on top of black. And I don't think Pandora does enough with black enamel. I just really enjoy having a little touch of black on a bracelet. And I think this design, like there was no clips included, but I think that was a really pretty design that the original owner had. And then this charm here is one that I didn't have in my collection either. And it's called Family Love. Um, you can see the little happy faces on an oxidized background. Do you see all the little happy faces? I just thought that was so funny. I remember seeing this one in the Pandora store as well. So this is my newest find. Super happy to have found this bracelet clasp and it's in fantastic shape, not a kink on this bracelet. And these charms are all new to me as well. So I don't know if I'm gonna be building off of like this design because I really like this white Murano with this mystic floral. I think that looks so nice together. And before I wrap up this video, I thought I would share with you three bracelet designs that I enjoyed wearing in March. And this first one is my new spring bracelet design. It's so easy and comfortable to wear. And these little multiple colors, like in the pastel shades and the blues, it just kind of matches everything. Like you can dress it up or dress it down. I do find that this little red ladybug does kind of steal the show a little bit. It's the first charm that people notice when I'm wearing this design. And this is my soft pink and Pandora rose. And there's another little ladybug right there. Uh, this one I wore in March as well. And it's a little bit dressier with the Pandora rose and that sparkle in the Murano. So I had a few occasions where I always call it like when you dress to heels, you know, when I have to really dress up. And this one was definitely one that I reached for. It matched a few of my outfits. And this last bracelet design, um, I kind of had this dress that has a lot of like the browns and the blues in it. It's, it's really pretty dress. And this design just matches it perfect. And this cameo butterfly right in the center is so special. So I really enjoyed wearing this design um, to go with those more earthy colors that I have in that dress. Thank you for watching everybody. I hope that you enjoyed this March 2023 Hits and Misses video and I hope you're all doing well. Take care. Bye-bye.